All right, David Harry here. So check this out. Okay, so what that is, is a Flip 5 inside of a case which I've modified with an ESR Halo Lock Universal ring on the back, which then makes it MagSafe compatible for charging. And then I've just been charging it with an ESR MagSafe puck. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to put this case together. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you here and arguably the most important thing is the Halo Lock Universal ring. Now just quickly, the Universal ring by ESR is primarily designed to go with other Halo Lock devices by ESR. However, these can actually be used for a whole bunch of other things because they are MagSafe compatible. And now that I have opened up the box, as we can see, I have got four rings. There are two silver ones and there are two black ones. Now, like I said before, these are primarily designed for certain devices such as iPhones and certain Galaxy phones as well. Now, let me just show you something here. And now what we're looking at here are the alignment tools that come with this package now although these alignment tools are not designed for the flip 5 i think i might have found a way of using one of these for the flip 5 to help me guide on one of the rings so let me just explain what these are for so one says samsung the other one says iphone then at the bottom here we have this plastic applicator so what normally you would do is to plug the applicator into the port in the bottom of the phone. And then you would just line up one of these two alignment guides here onto the phone, and then it'll help you to center the ring onto the back of the phone properly. Now, obviously we're not using any of the phones that these are designed for, but I will show you shortly how I think I might be able to use these with the Flip 5. Now, just before I go any further, it's obviously really important to know where the wireless charging coil is inside the back of the Flip five here so what i've got here is a charging puck or a magsafe charging puck by esr so what i'm going to do is just turn the flip five on its back here now if i just put the charging puck straight to the bottom here it's not going to trigger the wireless charging however if i just move it up towards the center and i'll stay quiet when i do this we should be able to hear the phone initiate the wireless charging so let me just push it up and stay quiet Okay, hopefully we heard that there. So my guess is, is that the charging coil is right in the middle on the back of the phone there. And just to confirm that once again from the front, I'm just going to put the phone on top of the charging puck and line it straight into the center. As we can see, that's initiated wireless charging, and it is also fast wireless charging as well. Now, the next important thing that we need to know here is this. These Halo Lock wireless rings need to be attached to a flat-backed plastic phone. So it has to be a smooth plastic back, not something that's kind of like got a pattern to it or that's got a texture, and definitely not something that's soft like a TPU case. It has to be a tough plastic backing on the case. So for this, I'm going to be using this case here by Rinker. So now that I have got my hard, smooth backed plastic case on the phone here to attach the ring to, we now know where the charging coil is and that is basically dead center into the back of the phone. So right now, this should be a very straightforward process of just applying one of the rings straight to the middle of the back of the phone. Now I say that should be something that should be dead easy unfortunately I have problems trying to manually line these types of things up now don't get me wrong you might be really good at something like this in which case you can just peel off the cellophane layer off the ring and then just stick it straight to the back of the phone's case there however what I'm going to do is to try and use give me a second I'm going to try and use one of these templates here that are initially designed for other phones I'm going to try and use one of these to give myself a really good chance of centering the ring when I stick it down so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to go off camera I'm going to try and line this little center ring up as best as possible with the back of the phone then once I think I've got it lined up as best as I can I'm going to use a piece of sellotape to tape down 
this actual part here of this guide in which case I've then got a solid section here which is going to allow me to center my halo lock universal ring properly okay so as we can see what I've done here is to align this alignment guide onto the back of the case here in where I think is the center and I mean like you know the center between the sides and the center between the top and the bottom so essentially that's the best that I'm going to get at I think right now because I'm trying to do a video as well but then what I've done I have taped it down with a piece of tape here so hopefully this doesn't move so what I'm going to do is to use this area here as my target guide for putting my halo lock ring on here so what i'm going to do is just peel off the cellophane off the back and then of course the other side of this ring has got like sticky stuff on it so it's basically gonna self adhere to the back of the phone case so let's see if this works or is it all gonna go wrong hold on so let me get that off now i'm gonna stay quiet here and let me just try and concentrate hold on Okay, now I think I've got that on properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to undo that cellar tape. Just going to keep my fingers on that ring and then pull the alignment tool off it. There we go. Now, hopefully that ring is in the dead center. So what I'm going to do now is just go around and give the ring a good pat down here. You are best off obviously having the case on the phone. And then that way you've got something solid to pat down on the ring with. So let me just give that a good little pat down there and I think that that is now solid onto the back of that case and now for the moment of truth yay and then once again let me just try this from the front yay Okay, so just to finish off then, I'm going to show you just another example of this Flip 5 in this case, which is now being modified so that it can work with MagSafe chargers. So I've got another MagSafe charger here, another one by ESR, but this is a typical desktop stand type charger. So check this out. Now, another thing to bear in mind here is depending upon the strength of the magnet within the charger that you're connecting the case to, it's actually going to be really strong. So check this out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the phone and the case on this charger and check this out. So the phone is actually now supporting the weight of that charger there. I mean, I am kind of moving that quite a bit and it's not falling off. I wouldn't recommend you do that because, you know, chances are it might fall off and damage the phone or something. But that was just to show you how strong that these things really are. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please do give it a thumbs up and a sub to the channel will be awesome. And there will also be links in the video description to everything that I've used in the video. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching the video. Take care and goodbye now.